I realised we got to the 11th of December without listening to a single Christmas playlist so we are in full Christmas song mode this morning. The lighting keeps going funny this morning. There we go, hello. Probably need to change one of the settings. Um, look at the state of this cinnamon raisin bagel. I need to contact Smeg about our toaster. This is not how I like my toast. Anyway, we're gonna have breakfast and I'm gonna get Delilah sorted. About to take Delilah to her child minded. She's just got a half day today. She's been at home feeling under the weather the last couple of days. She's not quite been the same since last week. We got to Monday and I thought, no preschool. We're gonna stay home. I'm gonna let her sleep as much as she wants. I've been trying to push uh, lots of fluids, lots of orange juice and water. Yesterday she was def definitely feeling more herself. She was asking whether we were going to go out and do anything and I was like no bug we're going to stay in and just make sure you you make a full recovery. I don't really know what she had, just was really pale and quiet and she just wanted to sleep lots. So my plan for today is to get some Christmas shopping done. I've done a lot online but there are things that I can get in town like Doug's little brother's Christmas present, my grandma's Christmas present. There's lots of bits and bobs and knickknacks that I need to grab. I would like to get a wreath for the kitchen. I'm gonna go make our wreath for the front door tomorrow. How is it already that time of the month? But last year I went and bought one for the back door and it was really nice having one on the front and back door. So I'm gonna try and find a wreath today. So your blue hat's in the wash so you need to pick a different hat for today. Which one would you like? Pom pom, red or two pom pom? The bare one. How are we gonna do this with your hair today? You have to put your hair down a little bit. Her hair's a bit crazy today because there was an email that went around saying that there's a case of head lice going around. I panic bought some spray to deter them and it's made her hair really greasy. Do you want the bow up? No. No? Hello! <laughs> I'll get your coat on. rude not to get something for myself. I'm going to get this and we'll try this one. It smells amazing. Ticked my grandma's Christmas present off the list, however she watches all of my vlogs. So I didn't bring you one here. I'm not going to show you what I've got her. I'm now going to nip into the zero waste shop to see what wrapping paper they have. But apart from that I have lots to use up from last year. Next time I need to stock up on things, I'm gonna do a big shop in there. I guess I can bring you guys with me if you want. There's literally everything. There's kids' body wash, cleaning products, food, spices, everything. Final stop. Let's see if one of my other favorite shops has any wreaths. Oh, so they seem to have these. And I'm looking for some more for Delilah's Christmas present. I'm looking for a mummy and a daddy. How cute are the grandma and granddad ones? So cute. Got my wreath. Now I've got to somehow get this home without completely Muller in it. Oh no, it started raining. I'm gonna find myself some lunch. I'm not sure what we've got. Um, let's finish off this soup. I 
can't wait to start getting wreaths and Christmas decorations up. We need to go into the attic later and get the big box down of Christmas decorations because that box also contains the hooks and the ribbon to put the wreath on the back door. I text Doug and said, I'm really sorry, but this year's wreath still has pine needles on it because last year I bought one with pine needles on and we said we were never going to get an indoor wreath that had pine needles on because it dropped so much. You had to really carefully open the back door, otherwise you'd get pine needles all on the floor. You'd tidy them up and then one of us would just very slightly nudge the door too hard and then you'd just hear Phew. I'm gonna have my soup with a Marmite bagel. I'm then going to sit here and finish off some Christmas shopping online. I also need to do some emails and send off some invoices, pay some invoices off. It's been so nice seeing so many of you watching Vlogmas over on Instagram stories today. Lots of you posting. I've got Jenim on keeping me company. It started raining again. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. It's all dark and very gloomy. It's kind of cozy at the same time, but I do miss the frosty weather, blue skies, sun out. I'd much rather it be colder than be drizzly like this. Well, it's, like, it's not drizzly, it's like full on, <laughs> full on rain. I finished all online Christmas shopping bits. I'm now just gonna tie up some um, work things I need to do. Let's keep it between us that I'm opening the Christmas biscuits already. Have one of these and I'll have one of these. Thank you very much. I remember dipping custard creams into my grandma's tea and whenever I used to stay there and um, I think she got to a point where she would make a tea for me, not that I would drink it and never have like tea, just so I didn't ruin her tea because I loved dunk it in custard creams in her tea and then all the um all the crumbs and stuff would get in hers and ruin it oh look at that rainy rainy day i'm desperate for a hairband you know when you want something and you're like oh, can't be bothered to go hunt something that thing down i'm gonna need a hairband and i've usually got one hanging around somewhere i'm trying to tuck it into my jumper so i don't need to go get a hairband but I don't think that's quite, that's not really going to happen. I can't work like this. It's almost long enough to tuck back into, um, into my cardies and my jumpers. Also, listening to Adore You by Harry Styles. I, I mean, I loved his, uh, his other album that he released, was it last year? But the last few songs that he's brought out, I have been obsessed with all of them. And I am so, I've put it in my diary. I'm so excited for his whole album to um, come out on Friday. I'm gonna carry on with this and then I'm going to go upstairs, start editing this Vlogmas because tomorrow I've got my wreath workshop. So I need to make sure that today's Vlogmas is almost done, if not completely done before I go to bed tonight. If Delilah hadn't been unwell, I would have had a another vlog in front of this one and, that's, and I would have spent majority of today editing that. But because I couldn't get any content on Monday or Tuesday, I had to vlog today to go up tomorrow. It kind of looked like, it kind of recently, it just, <laughs> it just looks like I spend all my days just going around doing what not, willy-nilly around the house or going into town. And although there's nothing wrong with that, I know plenty of mums that either, you know, they go straight to work or they don't have a job and they're stay-at-home mums. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't judge what any parent does with whatever time they have when that kid's in childcare. I'm fully aware I'm in a fortunate position um, doing what I do. But because I didn't have any vlog and I had to vlog today, I was like, well, I can't just, well, one, I haven't got anything to edit if I were to go upstairs and work at my desk because I need a vlog to edit. So I needed to create a vlog to edit and I needed to do stuff in order to have a, have a vlog, if that makes sense. So it's a bit different when you vlog your life compared to say my other channel where I could just set up a camera and plan a video to do and, and do it and it'd be done and dusted. I don't know where I was going with that, but that's how things have panned out today. But as much as Delilah being unwell has set me back 
um, a bit. I quite liked having a couple of days where it was just me and her and we had nowhere to rush to. I really don't know where I was going with that. I was talking about Harry Styles album and how I was about to go upstairs and edit this video and I had to film today. I don't know. Anyway, any, anyway, I've got YouTube on in the background um, as well. What is this? Oh, this, this lady is one of my new favourite YouTubers. Go check her out. Her YouTube name is Middle Aged Minx. I love watching her vlogs. I came across them a couple weeks ago. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I just have on in the background. Otherwise, I don't really have much chance to watch YouTube. So whenever I'm doing things on my laptop, down here I just pop YouTube on. I must stop waffling on now and get on with the rest of the stuff that I need to do. I'm currently importing today's footage on the computer, so whilst that's doing its thing, I'm gonna see, I might be pushing my luck here, but I'm gonna see if I can paint one of the shelves before I need to go get Delilah. I'm not sure which roller to use. The one that I bought the other day doesn't fit on the roller. They're the same size, but not the same brand, and it just doesn't, <laughs> it's just not gonna work. And I'm just using furniture paint that I had left over from this brand, if you can just about see it, Rust something. It's in a satin finish in the colour cotton. It's chaos in this corner. We've got Hetty, we've got boxes. Don't worry, I won't get it on my clothes. Understandably, some of you get quite anxious with me painting in my usual clothes. But this kind of stuff isn't too messy when I was doing shelves. I can't tell if I need a different roller, it seems very textured. I need an in betweeny one, I need the one that I bought. I should probably get a chair, shouldn't I? <laughs> this little squidrum's home. I missed the star. Mm, I don't think it had a star. I think it had the star. Maybe. Is that nice pocket? Yeah. Delilah's gonna have her treat that my grandma bought her yesterday. She popped around to say hi because we've been stuck in for a couple of days. We're gonna do the usual. I'm gonna catch up on her day and we're gonna hang out for the next hour or so before I need to make her dinner. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I'm in chocolate. Mummy's having an orange. Do you have a nice day today? Do you have a nice yeah. day? Do you enjoy making Christmas decorations? Today? Yeah. And they card. And a card? Yeah. For me? Yeah. <gasps> really? Yeah. Cool. I'm not sure how this has happened, but she's helping me eat the rest of my orange, aren't you? And she's basically eaten the icing off the gingerbread. Whilst I'm cooking Delilah's dinner, I'm gonna get a head start on mine and Doug's dinner. I'm making this recipe, which I'm certain I've made in a vlog before, but I will link it in the description. It's one of my favorite meals to make. I've not made it for a long time. Butternut squash and aubergine tagine. It has cabbage, celery, carrots, onion, aubergine, chopped tomatoes, butternut squash, prunes, and the most important ingredient, this spice. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but any stew or tagine made with this spice is incredible. It's been a while since I've done any cooking wise in my vlogs, but like I said, I don't think this recipe is anything new. I've, I definitely made it. I definitely remember making it last Vlogtober of 2018. Shut the window. Planes outside. Um, or at least last Vlogmas. It was either Vlogmas or Vlogtober. It's just so scrummy. I can't explain. I can't explain it. It's kind of sweet. Not spicy as in hot hot. It's just, it's got a very unique flavour. I find this recipe really comforting. I mean, there's always something comforting about stews and tagines this time of year. And I guess because I've made it for a couple of years now, it has that comfort factor about it. I'll chop up the onion first and get that on. Hopefully have this good to go. So that once Delilah's in bed, we can just come down and help ourselves. What's that? <laughs> Delilah! <laughs> like a funny. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, okay. Bye! Didn't need 
eat that carrot or anything. I need to put the pictures back up on the wall. We took them down when we did the floors and haven't put them back up. Daddy's home. Once the onions had softened, pop the aubergine in, let those cook. I've now added the ginger and the garlic, and I now need to do a tablespoon, heaped tablespoon of this spice, and I'm getting it everywhere. Dinner's done. This will be, well, the recipe says it serves four. Usually, yeah, usually we get four out of it and I'll freeze the rest or have some for lunch tomorrow. I've been upstairs editing and I forgot about it, so I burnt the bottom a little bit, but I just added more water. It seems to be okay. The recipe says to serve with rice, but I love having it with mash, so we're gonna have it with some mash. I also sometimes like to add veggie sausages as well. You can have that more as a side with some veggie sausages and mash. It's very good. It's cold, I'm gonna make myself a hot water bottle. I really should have done some washing today. I haven't, it's, it's such a mess. Oh my goodness, look at the moon shining into the bedroom. Very bright moon tonight. Getting distracted as always. Where is my hot water bottle? You know what I've not had in a while? Nighttime tea. Well, I'm not gonna make any old nighttime tea. I've got some ginger to use up, so I'm gonna plonk some ginger in here. So my throat's feeling a bit. It's feeling a bit scratchy. Oh, I definitely shouldn't have just sat down. <sighs> I'm not going to move now. Thank you for the skincare recommendations. As you can see, I've got a nice one coming up here. It's hard because uh, what works for some people don't doesn't necessarily work for another. But I definitely want to try The Ordinary because I've been wanting to try their products for a long time. And they're so cheap in the grand scheme of skincare. And they're meant to be really good that I really want to try. And um, one of you messaged me exactly what you use and how it's really cleared up your skin. So I might just bite the bullet and go get those two products. I'm reluctant to try anything now before Christmas because I, I think, oh, my skin can't get any worse, but it probably could. So I don't want to risk irritating it. But yeah, definitely going to try out those products. It's going to be a really good day tomorrow. Lot, lots happening. It's a really busy day. I won't go into it all now because you'll see in the vlog. I've also got to squeeze going to vote, which is... <sighs> scary i really hope we get a good outcome on friday and then the day after that we're gonna go get our christmas tree and put our decorations up and it's all gonna start to feel really festive and well i hope because i'm not feeling very christmasy it's like halfway through december and i really don't have that christmas feeling anyway i really need to get myself sorted and into bed so i will see you guys in a couple of days bye it feels weird cheersing you i've got to say bye properly this seems to be my thing now i can't just say bye i have to be like bye <laughs> Bye. Bye.